Welcome to another video of Tech20 Plus. In this video, we are discussing about IP helper address. How to configure IP helper address in multi layer switch L3 switch. Okay, in the previous video we discussed about how to configure IP helper address in layer 3 router. You can find the link in the description. And in this video, let's focus about how to configure IP helper address in multi layer switch. Let's get started. adding one switch multi layer switch so this one 3560 is a multi layer switch you know it's a layer 3 switch i am adding the same in the network in this video let's add some end users Let's connect each other. Fast Ethernet 0 4 by 0 ok and there is all other two fast Ethernet port we already used on the router B so we have fast Ethernet 4 by 0 cable cannot connect it to that port which port let's use the fast Ethernet 0 by 24 last port and this side fast Ethernet 5 cannot connect that port Okay, okay, okay. Let's take the CLI, come back, save the configuration, and come to physical. Let's, let's disable this one, shut down the router, and connect it here. Okay, now we added one port. Uh, gigabit is the run port we added and turn on the router now it's enabling now see gigabit ethernet 6 by 0 we added now see the last port router is becoming up let's configure the switch. connectivity connect gigabit ethernet 6 by 0 to gigabit ethernet was 0 by 1 ok now we done the connectivity now actually so this green color is one network I would like to configure two VLAN network in this multi layer switch ok so this color is different network so I would like to configure the green range is 192.168.3.0 slash 24 range IP address from the DHCP server which is located in the network A and the same way on the second VLAN 192.168.4.0 slash 24 range IP address from the DHCP server our DHCP server located in here okay, this one. so the DHCP server should send the IP address to to the network okay. so this 
well as configure the multi layer switches so let's start the vlan configuration first and the multi layer switch we used faster than 0 by 4 and Zero by one, zero by two, zero by three, zero by four. See zero by one and zero by two. This is faster than at zero by one. Comma faster than at zero by two. This is Vila. This name Vila ten. Name network three. Okay, and this one is VLAN 20 network 4 faster than it 0 by 3 comma faster than 0 by 4 okay and this connectivity is gigabit is the last one okay let's create the VLAN come to this access the CLI of the layer 3 switch CLI enable config t hostname multi layer switch and uh, no, yeah, no, delete create vlan vlan run name network network 3 exit VLAN 20 name network 4 Excellent. let's go to the ports interface fast ethernet let's use the range command interface range fast ethernet 0 by 1 to 2 only 2 ports are mm, 1 VLAN ok and you can use the command switch port mode access switch port access VLAN VLAN 1 network 1 and 2 we configure network 3 so it should be in VLAN 10 right? to VLAN 10 fast internet 2 0 by 1 and 0 by 2 interfaces are in VLAN 10 network ok exit out and use the interface range command again fast internet 0 by 3 to 0 by 4 these two ports Enter the interface, use the same command, switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN. These two ports are the members of VLAN 20. Okay, exit for the testing. Let's use the command show VLAN. Okay, let's see and show you. So, VLAN 10 network 3, two ports are configured faster than 0 by 1 and 0 by 2. These two and uh, the VLAN 20 network 4 2 ports are here faster than 0 by 3 and 0 by 4 now we should configure the IP address from this end device of the both network from the DHCP server ok before that we have to configure IP address for this interface gigabit 0 by 1 ok here there is no sub interface option so we have to configure interface vlan 1 and ip address gigabit interfaces under the vlan 1 so we have to configure one ip address here that should be the same range of the this network the gigabit 6 by 0 interface of the router b and gigabit 0 by 1 of the multi layer switch both are in same network so we have to configure the same range address here so let's configure let's use the address both said we didn't configure it 10.10.2.0 network ok this one will be dot one this said dot two ok so I am configuring the layer switch said first 10.2.2.2 255 255 255 0 
Now shut down not required. Actually, it's a little fraud. So that's it. And come back to here. CLI enable join interface brief gigabit ethernet 6 by 0 port ok so come back configure t interface gigabit ethernet 6 by 0 ip address 192 sorry 1.2.2.1 255.255.255.0 now shut down ok now let's check the connectivity from here in 10.2.2.2 it's working ok now here is two network two vlans two both vlans separate network and both separate vlans should require different default gateways ok so actually we have to configure Default gateways in the multi layer switch and come back to the CLI. Create some VLAN interface. We have two VLAN, we configure two VLAN, VLAN 10 and VLAN 10D. So we have to configure two VLAN interfaces. Interface VLAN VLAN 10, VLAN 10 range is IP address 192.168.3.1. This one should be the default gateway of the VLAN 10. 255 255 255 0 now shut down exit out and interface VLAN 20 IP address 192.168.4.1 255 now shut down. exit now it is the time to configure DHCP server for the Actually, we did the reverse. This one is the three dot range. This one is four dot range. That's how we configure now. So let's configure the DHCP pool for the 192.168 three dot range and four dot range, both VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Come back to our DHCP server. Access the CLI. Enable configure config T. I'm excluding the some ranges as done in previous video IP DHCP excluded address 192.168.3.1 okay. and creating the DHCP pool for the VLAN 10 IP DHCP pool give a name network 3 I give can give any name and network command which uh, range address 192.168.3.0 default router address should be 3.1 ok exit exclude DHCP pool for the network 4 IP DHCP excluded address 192.168.4.1 to 192.168.4.20 create DHCP pool for the network 4 for VLAN 20 IP DHCP pool give a name and give network network 4 use the command network 192.168.4.0 ask to 255.255.255.0 default router will be 192.168.4.1 this 4.1 IP address should be the default gateway for the VLAN 20 network that's why okay. now let's check the end devices of both VLANs getting the IP address or not what do you think they shouldn't get the IP address now we didn't configure any IP helper address okay so that's why it's failed and a pipa is being used so let's configure we have to configure IP helper address and routing also so on the first let's configure routing from the DHCP server should be a reachability to both VLAN 4, uh, VLAN 20 and the VLAN 10 ok let's configure the routing I am using the static routing and to the both two VLANs the, the next op address will be the in interface IP of fast ethernet 0 by 0 of the router B so let's access the DHCP server CLI and IP route destination address 
destination network address is one eight one six eight three dot zero mask sorry three dot zero mask two five five two five five two five five dot zero sorry two five five dot zero and next hop would be ten dot one dot one dot two okay ten dot one dot one dot two is the next to op ip address is the ip address of router b fast internet zero by one or one by zero which one this interface zero by zero interface ip okay so return dot one dot one dot two you configure yes correct so one more network ip route net destination network one nine two one six eight four dot zero mask two five five two five five two five five dot zero next to ten dot one dot one dot two okay the routing is done from the dcp server and from this router router b also required routing config tree ip route 192.168.3.0 is the network destination address and destination mask is 255.255.255.0 and what will be the next hook address so let's check for the router b to reach vlan 20 and vlan 30 the destination address will be the next hop address will be the ip address of gigabit 0 by 1 so this is a multi layer switch there is no particular ip for gigabit 0 by 1 so we configured one vlan interface and gave created one ip so ip interface brief let's check the ip address this one vlan interface one because the port gigabit 0 by 1 this port we used and both port status and link is up and this port is the member of vlan 1 and we use the vlan 1 port ip address we configured 10.2.2.2 so this address will be the next hope address for here let's come back to router bcli so 2.2.10.2.2.2 okay the same way ip root 192.168.4.0.255.255.255.0.10.2.2.2 routing is done and we have to do some routing on the multi layer switch also so access multi layer switch cli 150 ip root First, let's route to the 192.168.1.0.255.255.255.0. The next hope I address will be the address of router B gigabit 60 interface. Okay, so let's come back to here. That is 10.2.2.1 and IP route 192.168.2.0.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
see it's working we got it successfully we got the IP address 191.684.21 for the VLAN 20 range so our, our IP helper address is working ok let's go to the network 3 should the it should get the IP from the DHCP server it's working so our end devices or PCs for the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 means network 3 and network 4 both network got the IP from the DHCP from the network A from here using the IP helper address okay I hope this video is informative thank you